Now, Piz, I want to ask you about something else. The new Barbie movie, and this is uh, making a lot of publicity at the moment, it's starring the Australian actor Margot Robbie. Well, it's been banned in Vietnam for featuring a map of the South China Sea that shows China's ownership of disputed islands. Of course, Vietnam rejects this, this map showing China's version of where it, it would like its territories to be. Piers, this may seem kind of frivolous or even a mistake, but it's actually quite a serious topic because there is a long trend now of Hollywood kowtowing to China. And the, the American executives of this movie would have known what they were doing uh, because Vietnam has reacted this way before multiple times. I mean, why do you even need a map of Vietnam in a Barbie movie? I, I can't even, you know, I haven't seen it, but I can't imagine the scene <laughs> that would need to show a map of these, you know, um, islands that are subject to the territorial dispute. This is well, all clearly to appease China. And it's a topic that Andrew Bolt has been very strong on previously, the, the fact that American movie executives don't want their movies banned in China. So so it, it, it looks like they've chosen in this instance to annoy Vietnam instead. Well, you know, this is a very, very important issue. And, and uh, Hollywood has a long form of kowtowing to dictators. Um, they even had, before the, the Second World War, they even sent uh, executives to Germany to see how they could uh, produce movies which wouldn't offend Adolf Hitler. Wow. I'm, not I'm not surprised at this at all. Uh, China, um, going back to 1946 and the uh, Kuo Mintang, um, has m made three aggressive uh, uh, grabs in the, across the Pacific. The, this is what is called the Nine Dash Line. And it comes from a, a loop down from the Kamchatka Peninsula right down to uh, Indonesia and back up past the uh, Vietnamese coast. And mm. it takes in the Paracel Islands and the Spratly Islands. And these islands have been disputed. The Chinese have militarized them. They've built airstrips in there and, and so forth and so on. Uh, they also claim the second uh, island chain, which cuts right through the Philippines, um, and there is a third island chain which cuts right through from the Aleutian Islands, which are just off the American coast, down through Honolulu, right down to Tonga and Fiji. Mm. So nobody should be surprised. We have to remember that the, this is the Chinese Communist Party and it's an aggressive party. Yes, um, it is. And, and, and well, it basically the, the Chinese government is, is not is, is independent mm. of the, because the, the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party, runs the government. It yeah. appoints the government. Yeah. The Chinese government doesn't appoint the party. The PLA is the uh, army of the Chinese Communist Party. Mm. And, and we should be making this distinction um, loudly and, and more clearly. Yes, Whenever exactly. we deal with uh, Chinese or Chinese industries, we're dealing with the Chinese Communist yeah. Party. And, and we've seen time and time again in this Barbie movie appears to be the latest example of it, of Hollywood executives bending over backwards to appease, as you say, the Chinese Communist Party so that their films are broadcast in China, so that they're able to make money uh, rather than rather than just you know do the democratic thing um, and and don't show a map of uh, China's version of the territorial uh, disputes and now well, yes <laughs> well all all media in China including movies is controlled by the Communist exactly. Party exactly so so look we're watching the Chinese Communist Party version of Barbie it would seem if if anyone chooses to watch it.